Hi, I'm Jerome, Madam Cacti. Welcome to my greenhouse. So this is how you pollinate Astrophytum asterias. So Astrophytum is a self-sterile plant. So the difference between self-fertile and self-sterile is that the self-fertile plants is they can make their own seeds. You can just use their, their own pollen and pollinate with itself and it can bear fruit and seeds. But the self-sterile plant, you have to have an exchange of DNA. So it means that you have to have a mother plant and a father plant. Let's identify first the parts of the flower. So the flower is the reproductive organs of the plant. So this is the flower. Split it like that so we can see it better. So here. So this is the parts of the flower. This is the petals. This one is the pestle. This is the fem female part of the plant. This is will receive the pollen. So this is the stamen. This is the male part of the plant. So basically, when you uh, pollinate is that you just have to remove this one and put it here. So that's how you pollinate. And then it goes to the ovary and makes seeds here. So these are the unfertilized eggs in the ovary of the plant here. These little white things here are the unfertilized seeds. So it's very simple guys. You just have to pluck pollen and just put it in the, in the pestle of the plant. So now I'll do the same uh, in the other plant. So like that like that so that's how you pollinate it's so easy so one quick watering um tip for astrophytum asterias the cactus quest and he has a great video with peter w um talking about um about watering and that's my uh standards of watering so don't get let your asterias get dried out completely even in the winter, you sprinkle them a little bit, but uh, don't let it dry get them dried out. Jarrell's skills aren't limited to astrophytum. She let us take a peek at a new gymnocalycium project that she's been working on. So I cover this with cling wrap. So they're always because variegated plants. They're very slow. Yeah. And those very slow. This one, I, this one is not itchy. This, this is probably got super wet, and they're very dewy though to get open. But I didn't have time to. Was it do this? So yeah. So yeah, I lost some here, but these are overdue. So, yeah, this is pretty cool here. This one too. Oh, there's a black gymno here. So, it's really right. fascinating. It's just so perfect. Oh my gosh, that thing's a monster. Like, and this is like four year old. So I really encourage everybody to try and, you know, grow from seeds because it's fun. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Like and subscribe and follow East Austin Succulents and Fireproof Plants on Instagram.